What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Silk919 coming at y'all with an update video um, due to the fact that shout out to Viram, I believe that's how you say your name. Um, shout out for watching my vid. Um, he just uh, left a comment and requested that I, you know, make a better, I guess, a better quality video showing where to connect your solder points when you're lighting up your controller as far as the. Uh, well, that can be used for anything. The ABXY buttons, or you can even connect this to your guide button to illuminate that. Or even if you get clear joysticks, you know what I'm saying? These points are basically major power points you can use to light up your LEDs. So, um, without further ado, I got my white controller that I totally bombed the first time I tried this. Um, so, I took this back apart just so I could use some of the pieces and put it into my newer controller this was a black controller that I I don't know if I showed this yet or not but it was the black one painted it gray silver um and since I do got I got some extra PS3 analogs I believe I'm gonna once I take that apart I'm gonna put those in there replace these little nasty looking shitty ones and also uh the buttons that I did have in here, ABX, since they are already wired, I think I'm gonna go and put those in there too. And um, so, anyway, back to the purpose of this video, showing you the points. Basically, uh, how did I have it? Yeah, sorry for that. I had a little brain fart. Um, all right, so basically, we come through here. Let me get in here real tight. I keep moving the camera. Sorry. Okay. This point right here is four points. By this little transistor, resistor, whatever here. Four points. This side, far left, is your positive. Bam. Positive wire. All the way to the right is, you guessed it, negative. Negative. Positive. Positive. Negative. You remember that you can make wonders happen all right those are the two points in your controller I understand that there are different types of Xbox controllers the same way as there are different types of PS3 controllers so with that said I guess you just got to open that controller and experiment to make sure that you got the same exact controller that I have or otherwise that might not work as far as the points go um I can't even tell you like what model I got. It was a way to tell, but I forgot. You know what I'm saying? You can YouTube it just like I did. Do a little homework, research, find out your, your information. I think it has something to do with over here. The way to Microsoft and something over here. But anyway, like I said, if you look at it and it kind of looks like mine, you can go ahead and try it. I mean, you, once you take it apart, you know, it's nothing. You can... Not even solder it yet. Just take two points, positive, negative, hook it up the way I told you to, hold it by your fingers, you know what I'm saying, and plug in your USB um, cord that's so it can give it power. And, you know, it, if it works, then it works. It'll light up, you know what I'm saying? Simple as that. Alright, so to Virum, I hope this update video has been helpful. Um, I see you like the Xbox or you got Xbox or whatever because you're looking at that video. So with that said, you know what I'm saying? Be on the lookout for this one that I'm going to light the buttons up with these. Where they go? There they go. Light them up and uh, change out the analog sticks. And that'll probably be about it. I might get even bored and do some type of graphics on here because it looks kind of plain. And since the Xbox controller has a lot more writing room to do designs in the PS3 I might can have a little fun with it but who knows you know eh, who knows alright y'all thanks for watching you know what I'm saying take a look at the views and my other videos you know what I'm saying you like what you see you don't like what you see hey it's your world comment you know what I'm saying rate subscribe alright peace